Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about my mixer, my Yamaha MG Pen XU. It's been in my studio for a while, but it's something I rarely actually talk about in video or within my content. I've had a lot of people ask me about the mixer within the comments of my section in social media, but I've never actually made a single video focusing on the unit at all in the multiple years that I've owned it. I guess it's because I'm a synth channel, I focus so much on the synths and other things, I kind of left the mixer behind. But in my opinion, this Yamaha MG10XU is an insanely great budget mixer for an entry level musician. You can find one for around 200 bucks, brand new. I think $210 American is about the going price rate. And if you don't need the effects with the unit, you can actually save even more money just by getting the MG10, which I think runs you around 160 or 170. Having the added built-in effects does increase the price a little bit, but that was something I wanted with my mixer. For $200, you get a really solid mixer, and I think that's the best part of the $200, is it's a good price, and this thing is built like a tank. It's never gave me any issues at all. I'd feel 100% safe bringing that thing on stage and know I would have zero issues. The sound I get from the mixer itself is very good. And then I love the effects. And if you're a starting, you know, small bedroom producer who doesn't want to buy a full fledged mixer out the gate, I feel this is a good place to start because it gives you those 10 inputs, which is something decent to work with, but it's not, a, as I said, a full fledged mixing board. Obviously they have different versions of inputs. If you need more inputs, less inputs, I, that is up to you. Obviously that will affect the price tag. As I stated, I have the 10 input model. I do run that into a Focusrite 18i8, which gives me extra inputs on the um, audio interface itself. With this Yamaha mixer, you're gonna get seven channels. Three of them are stereo and four of them are mono. All the channels have balance control, high and low EQ and effects. And as I stated, the effects are really good for this machine. I tend to use reverb and delay the most. They do have other options. When it comes to your mid EQ, that's only available on your first four tracks, along with gain is only available on the first four tracks. And compression is actually available on the first two tracks. It has the rest of the you know basics that you'd want within a starting mixer. If you spend more money, you're gonna get a lot more complexity and options in some deeper mixers. But I'm speaking from a person who might be entering the game and looking for something again it's smaller, more on the budget line. So that's really up to you to know your placement in music. You know, obviously you're gonna know it. You're gonna know where you're at, what you need, and what your next step is. Overall, it served me justice the couple years I've had it. This is really the first time I've talked about it. I mean, this thing is one of the biggest values in my studio when it comes to my sound. I'm just not always touching it. It's not always a thing I'm focusing on. It's always kind of in the back. I'm a kind of set it and forget it type mixer guy. I do most of my manipulation on the synths and keys and things, parameters within those systems. So it was kind of like the little child in the corner that never got talked about and I felt like it needed to be brought in the light. And this video is just me just stating that I feel it's a great budget mixer and kind of showing a few examples with it. I plan on doing a second video about this mixer where I actually go into like the effects, show you some examples of these effects be a little bit more hands-on with the machine so you guys can get a direct idea of you know how it works and as always stay positive stay creative support each other in peace